Hi folk, um, I thought I'd just show you, um, this is an Acer C720 and as you're probably aware, the Acer C720s are no longer supported on Chrome OS. So if you've got an Acer C720 or a Haswell powered device and you're looking at Chrome OS 76 as the end of the line, but this one if I go to settings, what are we on? Um, and you see that this is actually running cloud ready. And we're running 78.22, which at the time of making this is the latest um, stable, home built stable channel. It's actually the developer channel. I don't think, I don't really get the naming of the cloud ready channels, but I put this onto the developer channel to go to 78. Um, but hey, this works really well. Um, so this is on a version that you'll never get with a regular Acer C720. Of course, you don't get things like Android apps, but you're never going to get those. That's a proprietary thing. And um, one of the nice things you can do once you get to 78 is you've got virtual desktops. Uh, perhaps I want to put that into desk 1 there. And go back to desk 2. And you can move between desks by holding the search key and then using the square brackets to go between your virtual desktop. So we've got two here, but you can have more than two. Um, so there you go. And as far as I can see, it works fine. Um, I mean, this Chromebook is now quite a few years old. If I cog. We are screencasting at the same time here. We're running a um, 2955U Celeron, a Haswell based one. And um, we've only got 2 gig of RAM, of which 1.76 is actually available. The rest is used by the um, um, video Gumball GPU. So this is a RAM limited machine to be some extent. So you wouldn't want to be opening too many tabs on this. But then again, you wouldn't have wanted to do that on Chrome OS anyways, otherwise it would sort of uh, grind to a halt. But it's not difficult to do this. Um, the tricks to doing it, now first of all, you do have to take the back of the Chromebook off and uh, you do have to remove the right protect screw. Um, so if you Google Acer C 720 uh, BIOS lock screw. You can easily find out which one it is once you take the back off because uh, there's this nice site which actually has a picture of it. Um, if I can't find it now. Yes, yeah, so it's this chromium.org one you want. And if you go to this particular site, what you'll find is that um, down at the bottom here, there's a picture. And it's that number seven screw that you want there. That's the one to remove. Take that off. You put your Chromebook into developer mode. And then you literally run a couple of commands and you flash a custom bias to it. And I've got some instructions that I um, made to uh, flash custom biases some time ago on my blog. Um, if you search for Cloud Ready, um, there's some instructions here, but I kind of combined, in fact, I think I've just used the ones on here. So all you do is put your device into developer mode, and that's a fairly standard thing to do. And then you need to run these commands here in the terminal. And then this one doesn't seem to work anymore. The John Lewis bias is no longer supported. But the Mr. Chromebook one is. And if you run that, 
that will flash a custom BIOS. So it'll be basically like a PC laptop at that point. And when you turn it on, you can go into the BIOS and select the boot device. And all you need to do is set up a um, Chrome OS installer, pop that in, turn on the computer, hit escape, and choose to boot from the USB stick, and then just follow the cloud ready installer prompts, and then you'll be set to go. And they should keep going for um, some time to come, I would imagine. Um, there you go. That's how you can uh, extend the life of your uh, C720, which is what I'm recording on there at the moment. If you wanted to manage this, you could actually do that. Um, if you bought a Chrome OS license and you installed your um, Chrome OS uh, Cloud Ready, ver the, the Enterprise Cloud Ready version, you could do it. But the value of that is dubious given you've got to pay for things that are year then. Keep this old bit of kit running. But that's up to you.